Hi, good morning. So here I'm going to show you the solution uh, of the question self-exercise 2.13 uh, textbook, page 70. Okay, so um, given um, the diagram on the right shows a bit moving along a curve with the equation y equals to 1 over 8x squared. So here we have y equals to 1 over 8x squared at point 0.42. The rate of change of x. Okay, here we have the clue, the rate of change of x. So meaning that you are going to apply the rate of change. So d x dt equals to 3. Okay, find the rate of change of y. Okay, so um, find the rate of change of y. So previously, before we find the rate of change of y and use chain rule, you have to find uh, dy dx, okay, uh, the first derivative of y. So here we differentiate y uh, with respect to x. We get dy dx equals to 2 over 8x, okay, and x here, uh, the coordinate is 4, 2. Coordinate x is 4, so 1 over 4 times 4 equals to 1. So dy dx equals to 1. Uh, to find the rate of change of y, use uh, chain rule. So dy dt equals to dy dx times dx d. So, 1 times 3 equals to 3. Next, number 2. Um, the area of a square increases at rate. Okay, so here we have square. We draw a square, same size. Okay, side x. Okay, so area increases at rate. So, meaning that dA dt equals to 8 centimeters squared per second find the rate of change of side okay here side is x so rate of change of side is dx dt you have to find out okay and area is 4 centimeters squared okay here we have uh, square so square area of square is x squared equals to given here 4 okay so x equals to 2 Okay, so we have A is x squared. A in terms of x, we differentiate. We get d A D x equals to 2x. And uh, here we have um, x equals to 2. We substitute. We get d A D x equals to 4. Okay, the question just now asks you to find d x dt. So, uh, we use chain rule. Okay, chain rule. So, dx dt equals to dx da times da dt. Okay, here we have da dx. Eh? Okay, um, da dx. This one dx da. So, uh, actually this one uh, 4 over 1. So, dx da is 1 over 4. Times the ADT just now given from the question is 8. So the final answer is 2. Okay, number 3. A block of ice in a form of, of a cube. Okay, here we have cube block ice. Okay, with side x centimeter uh, is left to melt. Okay, so here let's draw a cube. Okay, meaning that same side x x x okay so now given this ice melt melt so decreasing at a rate of 10.5 centimeter cube per minute okay so meaning that the v d t equals to negative 10.5 Okay, so find the rate of change of x. So dx dt, you have to find out. Okay, before that, um, so now we know, now we are discussing about volume, volume of cube. So volume of cube is x times x times x, which is x cube. Okay, so we have v in terms of x, we differentiate, we get dv dx, so 3x squared. And x given from the question, x is 10 squared, so then uh, dv dx is 300. 
Okay, so now we are going to find dx dt. So dx dt equals to dx dv times dv dt. Okay, so um, the v dx, this one dx dv. So oppositely 1 over. So 1 over 300 times negative 10.5, which is equals to... Uh, negative 0 0.035 okay number four uh, the diagram on the right shows a cylindrical candle with radius three centimeter meaning that uh, the radius is fixed three centimeter the height is h centimeter and its volume is v centimeter cube the candle is lit and the height decreases. Okay, so the height this decreases. So dh dt, we get info here, uh, decreases to so negative 0 0.6 centimeter per minute. Okay, so then A express V in terms of H. Okay, so we know that a uh, volume of this candle, uh, shape of cylindrical candle. Okay, so um volume of cylinder is pi r squared h now given the radius is fixed which is 3 so pi 3 squared h okay so then v equals to 9 pi h okay done so for b um, find the rate of change of its volume so find the v dt okay so um, when the height is eight centimeter okay now we have uh previously from 4a we have v in terms of h so actually we can differentiate here we get dv dh okay which is equals to 9 pi Okay, so then uh, to find dv dt, a rate of change of volume, so we can use chain rule. So dv dt is dv dh times dh dt. dv dh is 9 pi, dh dt given negative 0 0.6. So this one equals to negative 5.4 pi. Okay, okay. Number five. Ah, uh, here are the solution. Ah, uh, Chandran's walk at a rate of three point five meter per second, meaning that meter in one second, that three point five meter in one second away from a lamp post one night, as shown in the diagram on the right. Okay, ha uh, Chandran height is ah uh, one point eight. And lamp post and six meter respectively. Find the rate of change of Chandran's shadow. Okay, so uh, we have to redraw. Okay, redraw this. Okay, um, like this. So here is Chandran one point eight. This one six. Okay, so given here, Chandran walks at a rate 3.5 meter, meter per second away from a lamp. Meaning that this one, 3.5. Okay, so... Um, um, then, we are, going, we are going to try to find this. Okay, then we have to... This is uh, X is uh, Chandran's shadow. Okay, so then we uh, use uh, ratio rates and proportional. Okay, so then we um, we separate. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, we separate the triangle. Okay, this one six, this one three point five plus X, and the small one is 1.8x okay so we have learned in ratio rates and proportional to find x we use proportional okay so x over 1.8 equals to 3.5 plus x over 6 then we cross multiplication so we get 6x equals to uh, 6.3 plus 1.8x 
so 4.2x equals to 6.3 so therefore x is chandran's shadow okay 1.5 okay done question a which this is actually for question a Okay, for question B, um, find the rate of change of the moving tip of the shadow. Okay, so moving tip of the shadow, you just total 3.5 plus X, which is um, shadow equals to 3.5 plus 1.5 equals to 5. 